everyone, Cheryl here today with Kadoodlebug Designs, and today we're going to be working with the freebie. Isn't she super cute? <clears throat> Sorry. She's called the Cutie Catoodles Sitting Spring Cupcake Bear, and she is free for one week only, and um, so I'm not sure when she ends. I just got her the other day. I think it was yesterday. Today's the 5th. And this video should be up on Thursday, I'm thinking. So I'm hoping I can get it up that quick. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. And thanks for watching. And if you're coming back, welcome back. I'm glad to see you. And so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And that way you don't miss out on any future videos. And also it's free. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, also, if you're watching from a cell phone, I try to tell you to see full screen. Click the your screen on your phone and you'll see a little white box right here. And just click that. That will give you the entire screen so you don't miss anything um, that I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over is really quickly, I'm going to just tell you, I'm using, um, so my very vanilla for all these light pieces and the white and the yellow for the flower are all from American Crafts. Now, all the pieces for the bear's body um, is going to be the beach. This is beach from um, Basil. And so that's the color of that. And then for the pink pieces, I did use Stampin' Up's Pink Parouette. And the black is a thick black cardstock from Paper Temptress. And so is the, the eyes and the cupcake base. They're a metallic. And those are also from Paper Temptress. So I think I've went over all that. Um, I do love the look it gives on the eyes, the metallic. It just, in person, it's just absolutely beautiful. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'll go over all the inks that I'm going to use. So we're going to be using the tea dye. We're going to do all the, the dark pieces and the light for the bear with tea dye. And then we're going to use uh, Pretty in Pink for um, our pink pieces. And I think that's it. And yeah, that's all we're using the inks for this. Then we're going to use some chalks and I'll go over those when we get to it. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, we're using Barely Banana as well. So we're going to use Barely Banana for the flower. Now I did not do the little wrapper um, or the bottom of the cupcake. I didn't distress that at all. Um, you could go ahead and do that. I just kind of left it. Um, I don't know why. I just figured eh. Okay, so I've got the flower done. And then now we want to do the pretty and pink. And I kind of tried to prep some of my pieces. So now you can do this as dark as you need or as light. And so, and then I may need to ink that up a little bit. But yeah. So that was Stampin' Up's Pretty in Pink. I know they've come out with some new colors this year. I'm going to, I haven't bought ink pads in forever. And so, you know, typically I only buy if I need to replace a color that went out. And same with the Copics. I usually just buy the refills. Um, so I'm excited to add a few new colors to uh, my collection because I haven't bought any in so long. So we're going to do the tea dye. This is the Distressed Ink um, that I'm going to use. They have a crumb cake color that I'm really interested in. Oh, I think I got something on there. Let's see. Hopefully that covers up. I don't know what that is. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get... I'm just using the flat dauber. And I just bought these replacement um, flat ones off of Amazon. I got a ton of them for really cheap. And I thought I would just try them out. And they seem so far to work pretty good. So I haven't so far had an issue with them. So I've done all my pieces for this and all the cream is done as well. So the tea dye is done. Oh, we've got one little, I did leave. I guess I left to show you. So also another little tip that I do, if you, um, you know how our, a lot of our cardstock is textured. 
what I'll do is when it cuts on the mat, I put that textured side down on the mat so it'll cut my pieces and then I'll have the smooth side to work with. Now, sometimes I do use the textured side. It just depends. But on the face pieces, especially when I'm doing the face, now this is all smooth. Both sides is smooth on this, so I didn't have to worry about that. But like, I want the chalk to flow nicely and not get caught in the grooves. And so I tend to try to get that um, textured side down. Sometimes I forget if I'm cutting a ton of stuff. Um, I may forget because I've got all everything pulled and I'm trying to get everything cut. Okay, so we are ready now to start the layering process on this. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move her out of the way. So the first thing we wanna do is grab our glue and I'm using just the art glitter glue and you can tell my bottle's worn. Um, this I bought off of Amazon because I had to replace the glues that I did have. Um, and I do love this one. I love it because it has this tip too and it holds really well. But um, I bought that and you get the refill as well. And so you get like an eight ounce refill on that um, and that bottle and the little pin that sticks in the top of the bottle. So that's kind of what I ordered when I bought. I'll have to get a new set pretty soon because I think I only have enough glue to refill that one more time. So I'm going to have to replace the glue. I go through a lot of glue. Um, so, because I don't only, I, I use that for even with my, like when I'm working on the albums or cards and whatnot. So, let's kind of get, I'm thinking that's going to be, it should be okay, right? Okay, so I think that we're good on that. And let me spray my hands really quick here. That way I don't get any of the colors on. I'm really bad about that. I will have the ink and the same thing with the glue everywhere. Okay, so we've got the ears on. Let's go ahead and get our arms on. So the little arms are gonna go right here. Um, so the little tool I'm using, um, I have a lot of people asking me about this. This is a Viker tool. I bought it off of Amazon. I got a set of two and you'll get a set of two. You get four of the wax nibs. You just, over time, you kind of clean the nib with your nail. You can reshape it and it'll pick up the pieces. I originally bought these to actually pick up the dew drops. And um, I started using them. I thought, gosh, I wonder if this could replace my other tool because my other tool needed to be replaced. And um, it worked on these pieces too. And so I've been using it on these ever since. So we've got the arms on and now we can go ahead and get the body on. And honestly, I, I thought I paid eight something for these, but I don't remember. Um, I do I do try to put links to help you find stuff easier. Um, and so they will be below. The only thing I didn't link because I bought these off of eBay is the Posca pin. Um, but someone did tell me you can get those off of um Amazon as well. So I have not checked on that yet, but I'll have to soon. So we got to get the head on next. Let's go ahead and do that. And so we're going to just get this on. And so when I'm doing the head, the things that I try to line up are the sides right here. So I don't worry about the bottom. I want my sides to be lined up and I could tell there. So I just want those lined up and then the top looks good. So the bottom I'm not worried about because she has her little cheeks and we're going to put those on next. And those are that's going to be the placement for the cheeks. So on the cheeks, I do try to, especially because we're going to slide in some eyes on this, I leave the area up here alone, no glue. And then that way it gives me room to slide in um, some eyes. And so we can just bring that down a little bit and looks like we're good. Okay. 
So I'm going to press just this part down. So if you're not sure if the top's still open, because we're going to have some pretty thick pieces, you can kind of just see, use your pin to, to do that. So now when I do my eyes, I usually will put little circles. And then we can always try to get this under here because get a very little glue under there. So that way when we do get the eyes in, if you're worried about that staying, you could always do it like that. So now on this one here, I'm going to slide the entire eye in. Now on her, I left these corners because I usually tilt my corners up a little bit. And I did on these, I tilted them up. This one I'm going to push down just to kind of show you. You can do them however you'd like. And I probably could have added a little more glue to that one, but I'm not gonna, I'm not too worried about that. So I like to leave a little bit of room for the lashes. Okay, let's see if I'm a little even there. Okay, and now I'm gonna add on the blue parts. And this, this is a little thicker. So what I want to do is I want to leave some white showing up above. And I'm thinking that probably looks okay. This one just slides right like so. And I think that looks pretty good. I had to get a drink water oh my goodness okay so now we're going to add the little um black on her eyes i have to tell you i bought the cheap little cutting blades for the cricket that was a mistake because you could see it doesn't cut as good as the cricket blades um, I was hoping they would because you got like a pack of 20 of them for like really cheap. So now I'll wait for Joann's when they do their sale and probably just get them from there. So I've got her eyes on. So now we can go ahead and get this muzzle on. So let's go ahead and get that on. And we'll get her nose. And we're going to wait on that bow because I'm going to go ahead and do her eyes really quick. Okay. And sometimes because of where I'm sitting and where this is at, I don't, I can't get them. So the eyes, this eye I would have brought up a little more, but oh well. Okay, let's leave that alone. We're going to go with the cheeks and the eyes right now. I'm going to use some Stampin' Up! old chalks that I have. And then I'm the color I'm using is Pixie Pink. And I'm just using one of these brushes. They come in a set of 12 that I purchased off of um, Amazon. And I'm going really light. Even though I loaded the brush up, I'm trying to start out light so I don't just plop all that on there um if i did i could always come in with a uh, one of the craft erasers i just use um you could come in and you know erase it if you need um but let's just kind of go circular so kind of go circular and if you want them dark or you want to come in with a darker color, I'm going to come in with some pink passion and you could always do a little bit of dark on the edges right here and maybe bring that up in. There you go. And then let's wipe that and I'm going to come back with some of the pixie pink and just get a little bit up here. Okay. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Okay, so we have her cheeks done. So now we can go ahead and do her eyes. On her eyes, I'm going to use um, the, this is the Micron 003, and I'm going to be using the Micron 005, and I believe these are both black, I hope. 
Oh, I think that one isn't. Oh, well, I'm going to use them because I did buy a set of these. I had to replace the one I had. I had the 005, which is this one, and it was going out. And so I was like, oh, no, can't, can't have that. So I went and purchased a set of four of these. And I got uh, two 005s and I think uh, two 003s. And one is sepia and one is black. And so I'm just going to do her liner. So that's the 005. So now we can come in with the 003 and get her lashes done. And I'm going to zoom in for that part really quick. And so I'm going to just start up here. And I'm just kind of curling up a little bit. And then I want to bring some down. And I'm almost thinking I could add a little bit of blue right in here. Hopefully I don't add too much. Sometimes, oh gosh, I think I did. Let's see because it will squeeze out. Yeah, so sometimes if you have a little, oh, yeah, there it went. Okay, let me, I wanna dog that. Okay, sorry guys. All right, so if, that, if that's too light, because once we get the shadowing on, that may be, so I'm gonna come in with this 005. See how that's darker? I may have had the sepia on that one, but it's also a little thicker, so. So I'm just trying to curl them a little bit. And let's bring some down over here. Oops. And then I could come back in with this other one. Okay. And I think that's probably going to be okay. So now I want some more the eyeliner. Now you could use a thicker one. I do have... Um, the thicker ones like the zero three zero two, um, you could do that. I didn't pull those for the video. I could have just turned around and grabbed them. But anyway, so that her eyes are a little thick right now, and I'm gonna come out just a tad. Let me grab a brush. So we're gonna use the one eighth inch angled um, shading brush. This one I bought um, at Michaels. You could get them there or even on Amazon. So I'm starting with the black chalk and I like to start dark in the corner and then just work, work it up and then just bring up the rest. And so that's kind of how the shading is going where it's darker at the bottom. If you need it darker, you could Come back in and then wipe your brush and then start on that other side. Load it up again and kind of start thick and then come up and that way it's kind of up there. And then I want to come in with some brown. So I'm going to use some close to cocoa and this is Stampin' Up's brown and so I'm actually just putting that over the black and bringing it up and then I'll blow off any excess and then we could always come in with the elegant eggplant and I'm using that right here just on the bottom and then I'm going to come in with a little pink right up here and that's it. And we're done. Okay. 
So her eyes are done. If you want them darker on the sides, on the bottom, you could always come in darker. That's really up to you. So I want to add my dots. Now I do add them first, even though I'm going to add glossy accents to this. Um, but I do add them underneath. And then I'm going to add a dot here. And then I want to add some little dots on her cheeks. And I'm thinking everything looks good there. Hopefully I've got everything. Oh, we could add the little dots up here since we've got the pen. And I think that's it. Okay, so now that we have that done, we can go ahead and add her bow now. And I always wait to add the bow because I like to get the eyes done. Um, so if you're not doing the eyes, you could, you know, skip that and go ahead and add your bow and whatnot. Okay, so we've got her little bow and we're going to put the little flower on. And we have that right here. And then the little center for the flower. Okay. Could always use a little orange dew drop over that. Uh, little flower. I like when they have a little embellishing on them. It's super cute. All right. So see so far how her eyes look so different with the glossy accents over that metallic. Okay. So let's go ahead and get her cupcake going because we're we're almost done so let's get that we should have four of those little things so i added the two i did not distress any of this but i did add uh one let's see one two three and four okay let's see if i can get those on whoops so we're gonna start over here we just want to build this cupcake wrapper and I may have put the glue a little too close. There we go. And okay. So there's her little her little cupcake wrapper. So we're gonna add that to her. And so I just brought it up enough and left a little bit of her um, belly showing. And so you could kind of uh, see how you want that. So now we want to get the icing. And the icing, again, was done with the Pretty in Pink, just in case I didn't. So we're going to add that so we can get that icing on. And then we're going to get the second icing on and you can tilt this if you want like so okay and so I think I like that and then now that we have that we can get the hands on let's get the hands so that's the next layering that we can do so let's put that on there And then we'll put, we're going to put one, I want it kind of right there. So let me grab that back. Okay, I'm thinking I could probably move this one in a tad. There, whoops, see the glue. I do not want to touch that. <laughs> Yeah, I have, I don't know, I have the worst luck with glue, I'm telling you. Okay, so we want to get her little feet on. And so I'm just going to add a good amount of glue to the back of her feet. And I'm going to line it up on the bottom. I'm not worried about the top because, again, she has the toes that will cover any of the white. And if you don't want to cut the backing, I always go into when I'm in design space and I first thing I do is change the backing piece, this main piece here. I usually change it to white. Sometimes if I have quite a bit of the color I'm cutting, I'll change, um, change it to that color, but you could change it to this, um, the color of her. And then that way, if you had any white, you wouldn't have white showing, but 
anyways, her little toes are going to cover this part anyway, so we don't have to really worry about that. So that's the nice thing about that. So we're going to start with the small one first, or the little toe first, and then we go to the, the middle one, and then we go to the larger one. And so, or the top one. And so that's kind of the layering on that. And then we'll come over here. And then all we need to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to do um, all the highlights and the eyes. We'll get the eyes done and the cupcake and we're done. Okay. So let's get this rag. Okay, hopefully that. Now you could always take the little tool and clean up any of that glue and get it, get that cleaned up. Okay, that should dry fine, hopefully. Okay, so now um, that we're done with that part, we can go ahead and get our little dew drops. And I'm just using um, the dew drops from the Robin's Nest Creative. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to pour some. I usually keep glass dishes down here or glass little trays. Um, and then that way I can pour all my little things in there. Okay, so I'm going to use a different color on her. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. I like using the, these on, on them. Okay, so I'm just going to find the placement where I want these little dew drops to go. They get one there, one there, maybe one here, one here, and then one down here. So, one there. Get enough glue on there. Okay, and then we'll just get those placed. And flip those over if I can get them flipped right. One there. And one there. Okay. And clean that off. All right. So we have that done. So now I can go ahead and add some of the little highlights. I'm just going to add a little to the toes. Just at the top, and then you can do down at the bottom if you want. And um, do you could do little, little teeny dots here, or a dot in a line. Um, go dot there. Whoops! And I got some paint on the little dewdrop. I could see it right there, and right there. Okay. And I think that's it. Oh, her bow. And then just go with the bow. And then the little flower. Okay. And I think that's it. And so now we can just do the eyes and we're done. So on the eyes, I'm using glossy accents. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover this up. And then once it dries, um, once this dries up, you can come back in with, I love that you can come back in with that Posca paint pen. Or Mark paint, yeah, paint pen. And you can do the dots right over this glossy accents. I love that. And it just really brings out the, the eyes quite a bit. Okay. And then let's get this eye done. And she is super cute. I love when they're finished and all completed and ready to be used on a card or a project. Um, little treat bags I use them on and treat boxes. Mm, just super cute. Mini albums and whatnot. Okay, I think that's good enough. We'll go ahead and let that dry and she is done. And so 
And there you have her. And so I do hope you enjoyed my video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and if um, you'd like to see more videos, please uh, subscribe. And then if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I always love reading your comments, you guys. So thank you so much. And then um, have a good day. Thanks for stopping by.